One of the keys to breaking the drop shot pattern is not to give up. Here's a decent serve to the backhand. Decent return makes the person move. We're picking on the backhand. So be ready for that. You want you to return away from the server, make them take a step. Going to the forehand is interesting though. Get the down the line. Off the down line goes cross court slice, short stays within the court. She plays a really solid baseline game. She doesn't do anything silly. Off the slice, she's always go cross court. Pick on the backhand. Why, why go down the line to the forehand? Off the slice again. Why change it? I would prefer to drive, but the slice forehand is actually kind of nasty. Check out how he does it. Because this could have been topspin the forehand. If it was topspin the forehand, the point probably would have been over. But she's got really good footwork. goes inside out slice again it's a tough shot could get by her look how she does that this is a good shot because no change in direction but you gotta have skill to do this this is a tough shot to execute now when he comes in and goes for the drop you need to read this right there see if she reads it and she runs after it don't give up on the drop shot never give up watch him watch him he's coming in rackets up you know he's gonna hit a weak shot read it take off and then go for a shot that's the key you gotta read it early. As soon as the racket goes up, and you have to run. Don't think, just run. That's the first thing. The second thing is when you get to the ball, do something with it. Go for a winner. Don't get the ball back and play. Go for a winner. Go for left or right, away from him, and don't give up and track down everything. That's how you break the drop shot pattern. You go for winners when you get the opportunity.